Hello friends, welcome back to my second channel. Welcome back to Jack in the Books. Today, I am gonna go to some independent bookstores around New York City, and I thought that you should come along. So let's go have an explore. I basically found this website which has a list of like every independent bookstore in the city and it divides it up by the different areas like Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, etc. I'll leave the link to it down below in case you're interested. It's actually like a New York government <laughs> website, but I saw it online today and I was like, that's actually very helpful for finding new bookstores that I haven't been to yet. And so I thought I would bring you along with me. So let's go do some book shopping. This is today's book shopping outfit. So I have this jacket, which I thrift did the other day. It's actually a Dickies jacket, um, but I found it in a little secondhand shop. And I really like the fit, it's very fun. Anyways, this t-shirt is from ASOS, I think, but like years and years and years ago. Pearl necklace is a little DIY job. And then this Dior bag, because my camera can go in here and then people won't think I'm a weirdo <laughs> trying to film them. Then I have these weekday jeans and my trusty docks. I have to tell you, I'm completely and utterly head over heels obsessed and in love with this. I know that's so stupid, but it's a <laughs> trail mix. It's from Target, it's called Monster Trail Mix. It's peanuts, M&Ms, raisins, milk chocolate chips, and peanut butter chips. And I was at a party and someone had these like on the table and uh, it's my new obsession. I can't stop eating them. So just wanted to recommend that because it is Phenomenal. I'm coming to you from <laughs> the elevator. We're all obsessed with this song, right? About you by the 1975. Oh my God, it's so good. The main character energy is unmatched. This is our first stop. It's called Three Lives Books and it's gorgeous. made a purchase. The problem is, I keep telling myself, like, it's good for the independent bookstores, it's great to support them. What I'm not supporting is my bank balance. Uh, <laughs> that's an issue. So the next stop is right here. This is called Housing Works, and this is actually in the music video for, well, the short film for Taylor Swift's All Too Well, 10 minute version, Taylor's version from The Vault. And I saw that there was a bookstore in that video, and I was like, I have to try and find out where that is, and it turns out it is here in New York, so. That is the next stop, Housing Works. The bookstore from the All Too Well video is actually a charity bookstore, which is really cool. And then I came out of the bookstore and I was heading home and I bumped into a girl called Zoe who said she'd watched some of my videos. And she grew up like one street away from where we bumped into each other. And she was like, there's a bookstore around the corner that you absolutely need to go to. It's called Mercer Street Books, I think. And so I went and it was gorgeous. It was the one with the like neon light with, that said books outside. And that was really cool. That was another kind of like secondhand bookstore. So I had a look around, it was lovely. And now I have have two new books to show you. By the way, can we just appreciate that the reflection in the TV is literally the Empire State Building out of my bedroom window. How insane is that? What the hell? So the first one I bought in Three Lives and that is this. This is The Seven Moons of Marley Almeida. Now, 
you know how much I love Sri Lankan literature. And so when I saw that a Sri Lankan book had won the Booker Prize this year, I was elated and so intrigued. I am so excited to read this book and I tried to get my hands on it for so long and it was completely sold out everywhere. Obviously they must have done a reprint, but let's... Let me tell you the blurb. Colombo, 1990. Marley Almeida, war photographer, gambler, and closet queen has woken up dead in what seems like a celestial visa office. His dismembered body is sinking in a serene lake, and he has no idea who killed him. In a country where scores are settled by death squads, suicide bombers, and hired goons, the list of suspects is depressingly long, as the ghouls and ghosts with grudges who cluster round can attest. But even in the afterlife, time is running out for Mali. He has seven moons to contact the men and women he loves and lead them to the photos that will rock Sri Lanka. A rip-roaring State of the Nation epic from one of Sri Lanka's foremost authors, The Seven Moons of Mali Almeida is a thrilling read that offers equal parts, modern wit, and disturbing, profound truths. How good does that sound? I have been absolutely desperate to read this and... It's finally happening, it's gonna happen. I think I'll do a whole reading video on this since I won the booker. Um, I feel like, I'm sure a lot of you are very intrigued um, about this. And I love this bookmark from Three Lives. It's so lovely. Um, so yeah, that was great. And that's one of my favorite bookstores in New York. Um, so I'm glad I finally got to take you around and show you. It's hard, the thing is it's much harder to show you around like independent bookstores because they're much smaller. Um, when I go to like a Barnes and Noble, they're so big that I can kind of go and there's no staff around in certain areas so I can, it's really easy for me to film. Whereas when I go into like independent bookstores, I feel like such a weirdo putting out my, you know, being like this. <laughs> I also get all self-conscious because I feel like people will <laughs> think that I just come into the bookstores just to like take a picture and then leave. Like, look, I'm in a bookstore and then I, and then I go home, but I, I'm there to actually shop. Um, I just wanted to show you guys too. Anyways, I then went to McNally Jackson and I bought this book and this is The Woman Destroyed. Now this, I don't think is available in the UK. I really wanted to buy this um, when I was back in London and I couldn't find it at all. Um, I don't think it's been released there, um, at least in this new edition. So, um, this is the blurb. In three immensely intelligent stories about the decay of passion, Simone de Beauvoir draws us into the lives of three women all past their first youth, all facing unexpected crises. Enthralling as fiction, suffused with de Beauvoir's remarkable insights into women, the woman destroyed gives us a legendary writer at her best. So that is the woman destroyed. And also, I mean, look at these covers. They are so gorgeous. We've got a strong color theme, color scheme going on right now. Um, oh, and this one also came with a cool bookmark. Mignani Jackson. Um... Very cool. I also, <laughs> this is so daft. I picked up this um, leaflet when I was at the Till and it's like an events thing. And I was like, oh, how cool. I'll go to some events at McNally Jackson, like some author events. And I realized just now when I got home that it's for events in November. And today is the 28th of November. So all of those events have passed, but <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to go back and find a thing for December dates. Really annoying too, because there are some events on here that I definitely would have gone to. So I'm like, damn it. But it's fine. Now I know for next time to check out McNally Jackson events. So yeah, these were some fun independent bookstores. I'll definitely film more videos um, showing you around some really cool spaces in New York because there's loads of great ones. And I've got some reading to do, so this is my top priority. I cannot wait to read this. Um, in fact, I have some friends coming over for some drinks tonight, but that's not for like three hours. So I think I might start reading this now. Okay, that's the plan. Thanks so much for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing. I hope you're subscribed. If you're not, you should subscribe. Anyway, all the best, stay in touch, have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye